The Longleat Estate has over a million trees. It's got 4,000 acres of woodlands, many different woodlands. Here we are at, in, on an ancient woodland soil structure and we're repairing the ancient woodland with native broadleaves. Whereas other areas on the Longleat Estate, we have commercial crops growing on the sandy soils and there are the conifers and we're growing mixes of conifers as well. What do we need for the future in, in 70 years time? What's this tree going to be used for? Um, so by planting a mixture of trees, we've got lots and lots of options, which will give greater diversity and resilience, both within plant health, but also to the markets that need these trees in the future. Also, a plant mixture will give great diversity to the wildlife that's going to utilise this amazing new forest that we're regenerating here. These were planted last winter, and uh, it was a quite difficult winter. We had a, a quite a wet finish to it, followed by uh, a dry spell, then we had a, an air frost when these young trees were coming out of the top of the shelters or, or coming above, the air frost really affected the trees. We then went in and we had a bit of a drought period in April and then we had the real Scorchio summer and uh, these trees are so resilient, they've got their way through that. So our forest, it weighs about 300,000 tonnes, but our forest grows like that every year on every tree. It gains weight of about 20,000 tonnes a year and these are part of that bank carbon that is growing for the future, locking the carbon and, and producing great potentially green energy, marvellous furniture and habitats for the future. I'm really pleased with how the forest is developing, how the young trees have, have grown. Uh, personally it's very exciting to see uh, the beginning of a, a next generation of trees, a future crop, a future habitat. Um, it's why I do what I do and it's absolutely fantastic to be part of that development for the future and preserving our natural heritage for generations to come.